What's up, people that love good music, which I think is you because you're on this channel and this channel is dedicated to good music only. My name is Anastasia Luna and welcome. All right, guys, today, super excited. We are going to watch Love Bites and the song is Glory to the World. I've seen, uh, I've seen only one song with them and I was so surprised and they just blew me away, especially, I really need to learn their names at this point, um, especially the girl with a high ponytail, uh, blonde girl, the guitar player, oh my god, she's so hot, mm -mm -mm. and the lead singer, every single one of them is absolutely fantastic, so I'm super excited to check this song out, but first, if you like the channel, please subscribe, and if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, because it really helps me out. Also guys, my new song, Swan Lake, is going to be released on August 4th, and the pre-save link is going to be in the description of this video. So if you have a second, it's absolutely free. Please uh, pre-save and spread the word because it actually uh, really helps out and determines how well the song is going to do. All right, let's go. Uh, this is Love Bites. Glory to the world. I like the Catholic churchy, gothic -y vibe. This looks like a moon. It's kind of like medieval times and the prince is looking for princess. I really like the visuals. <laughs> That's the power. Oh, she's so beautiful here. <laughs> She's like a little princess! Alright, let me stop uh, before we go deeper into the song. Um, are they always wearing kind of like the same kind of costumes? Because somebody actually uh, said that they always wear white, so they're visible on stage because they're like this tiny. Uh, so I wonder if that's the uh, point. I also remember another opinion and another, another comment on my other reaction video from one guy who said that, and you know, everybody's entitled to their opinion, so it's it's not wrong, it's just his opinion. He said that uh, they don't have any emotions and they're uh, way too focused on the technical part of the performance as opposed to actually like living through it and like giving us emotions, which I completely disagree with. Um, like I said, before all these four women have such di different personalities um the girl the dark um the dark hair girl on the guitar she is very self-centered and she's she is less emotional but she doesn't need to be i mean like her technique is flawless she looks beautiful she she the fact that she's not running around the stage headbanging doesn't mean that she doesn't have any emotion. She has emotion right here. Not everybody performs like this. She performs like this. And the lead singer, I feel like she's she's a perfect front woman for the band. I don't know why I remember that comment. It's just because I, I just saw the dark hair girl, uh, the guitar player, kind of standing there and like being within herself and it's not just because it's, it's not because she doesn't have emotion i think she has a lot of emotion going on but it's just the way of her expressing herself and um i think this is awesome i think it's great that all of them have um different personalities uh i love the whole you know princess and her knight and he's looking for her and there's a castle and there's a light and i'm assuming she represents the light that he's searching for so now he's searching for her so um i also love the fact that uh they this particular youtube video has the lyrics i don't know if i switched something on my uh in my settings or is it just what it is on this uh particular video because 
I couldn't really understand um, when the first song that they were singing. I couldn't understand all the words necessarily. I don't know if it's me um, and my knowledge of English language or is it her accent, whether she has accent or not. I'm not sure. So I'm very happy that they actually have l lyrics on the song. Uh, but let's go. I didn't mean to talk this much at the very beginning. It's just um, something that I wanted to point out. My She's beautiful. Oh, this blonde girl is just killing me. <laughs> I can have five right there. <laughs> oh, I love the visuals. That's another F5. Let me just stop. Uh, ah, I, I'm gonna let her belt one more time. Um, I just saw again going going back to uh, the difference uh, in their personalities. Like I keep seeing the the bass guitar actually going crazy, like headbanging and dancing. I I love bands uh, and musicians that that actually are confident within themselves to have their own, own personality. And if their personality. Uh, is to perform and play guitar within themselves and have their energy here and have their emotions here good for them so i uh again everybody has uh, their own opinion and everybody is entitled to their own opinion i just feel like um that opinion was wrong but um let me uh hear her belt one more time because i feel like i interrupted her <laughs> Oh, I, um, I'm i going to let her belt one more time. But uh, I said it on my other video as well. She uh, has a perfect sphenoidal place. So it's that place like right here. Uh, her belts are like a needle. So when you get that sphenoidal place, you actually don't really need to uh, open your mouth as much because it's going to go in there. And for those of you who actually are aspiring singers or who sing, sphenoidal place is learned. You're not born with it. You actually learn it. And once you get there, once your voice gets there, you will know. Um, it requires certain techniques, certain amount of practice, but she has the perfect spinoidal place. That's where she bells. And um, on the other song I saw, it was a live performance and she was not really opening her mouth, mouth too much. Because when you have that spinola place, you don't need to open your mouth as much. It's like it's like ghost, it's like a needle piercing sound. Let's hear her um, belt one more time. <laughs> You see, it's like a needle, it's like piercing sound. The bass player is awesome. This is so good! She keeps hitting that F5. Are they gonna be guitar solos? This girl! Oh. Come on, no emotion! Look at her! Mmm! 
baby. This guitar player, oh my goodness. All right, uh, let's stop right here before I guess it's uh, almost the end of the song. Come on, no emotions. I mean, like I said, everybody's entitled to their own opinion, but come on, no emotions. I mean, this is just perfect. Just because the dark hair girl is not running around headbanging, that she has so much emotion in that stillness of her. A lot of people have performed like this. It's just, it's just we used to rock singers being all out and headbanging and running around the stage and screaming and like you know, like rocking it out. But not everybody expresses their emotions this way and I, I feel like the dark hair girl is more emotional than anybody because uh, first of all it's her technique is flawless and uh, she doesn't need to be focusing on technique you know it's not because she has to focus on technique she um, is not emotional she is it's just she performs within herself and it's, it's it's so great to watch and then they pair her up with a blonde girl who is so so pretty oh my god they're all pretty but this blonde guitar player, she is responsible for a lot of sleepless nights for me. That's where I'm going to leave it. And they pair them together and the blonde girl is a little bit more out. You know, she smiles, she looks in the camera. She's kind of like, you know, she she's more energetic. And it's so nice to have that contrast between two of them. Plus, one is blonde, one is brunette. It's perfectly... Um, composed band. It's it's perfect, and th the drama has her own thing going on. I'm 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 I love um, the the bass player because for a bass player, usually bass players are less emotional than anybody else because they don't have to go like all out. Um, she's actually more emotional than any of them, and it's great to see the difference in the personalities. Um, the lead girl, she's so beautiful here. I love. I love how she moves. She also, I wonder if she did ballet at some point because she has like very ballet kind of like posture and like fingers and, you know, like her hands. And yes, I did ballet. I'm that Russian. Yes. So when she goes kind of like this, it's 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 very like ballet placed kind of thing. Uh, she keeps hitting that F5. Uh, I wonder if she's going to belt again. But let's see the end of this. <laughs> Very graceful. Very graceful. Uh, I'm gonna let her belt this one more time because this was E5. So according to my teachers and my technique, which is Belcanto, um, anywhere from E, I mean A to E5 are considered wolf tones, and they're actually the weakest in a uh, female voice. So it's much easier to belt a five than uh, E5, and she's belting E5 right here. Again, I might be like half a step off. Um, but I think this is an E5, and she's belting on that one, even though she was hitting F5 uh, throughout the entire song. Very interesting. Usually you go up, 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 and then you belt the highest note. She was hitting that F5 throughout the whole song, and she was belting on it, and then she came down to E5. Very interesting choice of uh, the melody. And she is belting that E5, which is um, much harder than belting F5. For me personally, F5 is very comfortable place for belt, uh, E5 is like torture. I'd rather go um, half step, a step higher than that. So this is very interesting choice of um, belting um, pitch. But let's uh, talk about Lama Tan. Oh, it's a choir. Ooh. 
Come on, no motion. They're perfect. The movements are so graceful. <laughs> like how she took this curtain. Uh, is that it? Oh, it's not it. Oh, the prince! Oh, and the prince found her! And she's the light! That in the dark night and everything. Uh -huh, this is this is beautiful. Very very uh, happy that I you guys suggested me to me um, this band in general. Very nice song. I love the whole power metal thing and then beautiful legato tone going on. She has a mixed voice, which is um how can I explain this? I have clear voice. She has mixed voice. She has a little bit of a uh, not a raspiness, but oh, how can I explain that to you? Um a little bit of that 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 depth to her and that makes her tone um, that much more beautiful because mixed uh, voices are actually more soothing to human ear than clear voices. Clear voices sometimes could become a little bit more shrill. So she um, she has that perfect mixed tone and she still goes really, really high. Um, and that E5 belt, it would be so much easier for her to belt on F5, but she, she did a great job. I love, I want to, I'm, I'm going to do more reactions to them and uh, see actually if they always wear those beautiful white costumes, which I guess it could be kind of their gimmick. Um, really cool. Um, I, I really, really, I wonder if um, when they were put together, if uh, their producer or whatever manager actually looked in their personalities um, along with uh, their ability to play guitar, to sing and stuff like that. Because they just add to each other, add to the whole Love Bites thing, you know, Love Bites band. Um, so they're all so different and they work together so very well. I'm going to do uh, a lot more reactions to this awesome band and hopefully I will see them one day um, in New York. Also, oh my God, I heard that Nightwish canceled their tour in New York. I was so, in New York, in the United States in general. I was so excited to see them on October, what is it, October 5 in Terminal 5? So now I'm like really, really upset. I was like, oh my God. Well, I am going to go to Europe. I'm seriously, I'm going to Russia in October. So I might just go to Europe just to see Nightwish. So I will let you know about that. All right, guys, my name is Anastasia Luna. Thank you so much for checking out my channel. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up. If you like the channel, please subscribe. Also, like I said, my new song Swan Lake has been submitted for distribution and you're going to see it, uh, hear it on August 4th. And the pre-save link is going to be in the description of this video. So if you have a second, please pre-save because it actually does matter uh, for how well the song is going to do. And again, stay tuned for Samuel Adam.